Like and subscribe now or you're gonna have bad luck this week. Orcas are some of the largest and most fascinating marine creatures. They're immediately recognizable by their distinctive black and white coloring. But did you know these cute looking animals are apex predators of the ocean? In fact, their other name is the killer whale. In this video, we'll be exploring more about orcas and why they're called killer whales. Stay tuned as some of the facts might surprise you. The oceans are full of so many species that it's mind-blowing. It's also home to perhaps the most fierce apex predator on Earth, orcas, aka the killer whale. It's a killing machine with no natural predators that feeds on mostly anything that comes across its path, including fish, seabirds, seals, and even whales. Today, orcas are recognized as among the most widely distributed mammals on the planet, occupying every ocean. They are incredibly social, diverse, and ferocious marine predators with a diet ranging from penguins to great white sharks. What if I told you orcas aren't really whales? They're actually dolphins. Yeah, you heard that right. Orcas are the largest members of the dolphin family. Males are bigger than females, but they vary in size and weight, depending on the type of orca. According to the website SeaWorld, the largest orca ever recorded was a staggering 32 feet or 9.8 meters long and weighed 22,000 pounds or 10,000 kilograms. That's longer and heavier than most motorhomes. Orcas are known for their long dorsal fin and black and white coloring. The black and white coloring helps to camouflage them by obscuring their outline in the water. Just behind the dorsal fin is a patch of gray called a saddle because it looks like riding a saddle. If you analyze its body closely, an orca's body is cylindrical and tapers at each end to form a hydrodynamic shape. This shape, along with the orca's large size and strength, makes it among the fastest marine mammals, able to reach speeds in excess of 30 knots, or about 34 miles per hour, or 56 kilometers per hour. Orcas have massive teeth, which can grow up to 4 inches or 10 centimeters long. They have evolved to swim up to 40 miles a day, foraging for food and exercising. They dive 100 to 500 feet several times a day, every day. Whether they're born in the wild or in captivity, all orcas born have the same innate drive to swim far and dive deep. There are plenty of depictions of people-friendly orcas, such as the movie Free Willy and SeaWorld Shamu. There are also water parks that have these beautiful creatures playing in, giving the audience a show. So what did the orca do to get this frightening name, Killer Whale? If you've ever seen the 1970s movie Orca the Killer Whale, starring Richard Harris and Bo Derrick, you may already have an idea. Similar to what Jaws did for sharks, this thriller poised orcas as vindictive, bloodthirsty savages. Dead set on hunting down the humans responsible for the death of his mate, an angry orca gobbles up each person one by one. According to the movie, next to humans, orcas are the only animals that kill for revenge. But that's just all in the movie. Are orcas really vicious enough to be called killers? Well, yeah. As the top ocean predator, they kill other animals to make a living although diets vary among different populations around the world. To put the word killer into more context, remember that until about 55 years ago, killer whales were widely viewed by non-indigenous societies as the embodiment of evil, ready to destroy boats and devour mariners at every opportunity. A killer whale cannot be properly depicted or described except as an enormous mass of flesh armed with savage teeth. Roman scholar Pliny the Elder famously wrote in the first century AD, we know what you're thinking. That was a long time ago. Surely we've become more enlightened in modern times. Well, no, really. As late as 1973, U.S. Navy diving manuals describe the killer whale as extremely ferocious, warning that they will attack human beings at every opportunity. Long ago, sailors referred to these massive creatures as whale killers. That made more sense because orcas are actually dolphins, not whales. Unfortunately, that nickname changed to killer whale, and now everyone thinks that orcas are some kind of whale species. The killer whale's reputation as fierce hunters come in part because they frequently target other marine animals, regardless of size. Orcas commonly eat whatever's convenient. Seals, sea lions, squid, fish, birds, whales, narwhals, beluga, and gray whales to name a few, and even their relative, the dolphin. Imagine the bloody scene of a pack of killer whales devouring something as large and notorious as a great white shark, which is also on the killer whale's takeout menu. So how do they do it? Killer whales hunt in groups known as pods. Up to 30 or 40 orcas can be in a typical large pod, 
but scientists have recorded pods of up to 100. Pods use sophisticated hunting tactics that reflect the orca's creativity and intelligence. After all, dolphins are considered to be the smartest animal on the planet. These predators use a technique known as echolocation, which produces sounds or sonar clicks that are reflected back when they strike an object. This is how they find their prey, and when they do, a pod of killer whales work together to reel in the catch. In one technique, known as carousel fishing, orcas surround a school of fish and spew out bubbles or hit them with their tails to distract and disable them. In other hunts, killer whales will pick out a young whale and pursue it relentlessly, trying to prevent it from surfacing for air. Using another clever hunting technique, killer whales literally jump out of the water and may even temporarily beach themselves just to coax seals into the water. When the frightened seal jumps in, members of the pod lying in wait attack them. Sometimes a killer whale will toss one of these seals in the air in order to make it more vulnerable to attack. In all of these examples, orcas display ingenuity, creativity, and opportunism in addition to their natural role as carnivores, so the killer moniker fits pretty well. However, while this beast is an apex predator of the sea, they don't really attack humans. Our meat isn't tasty enough. There's no record of an orca ever killing a human in the wild. Occasionally, an orca may mistake a human for something they do eat, such as a seal. In 2017, an orca was caught on camera charging at a surfer during Norway's Lofton Masters surfing competition. The orca seemed to pull out of the attack just before making contact. Although wild killer whales do not intentionally harm people, they have attacked boats. There were a lot of reports in the summer of 2020 of orcas ramming into and causing damage to sailing boats off the coast of Spain and Portugal. Maybe they just don't like being disturbed while feasting on the delicious flesh of whales and sharks. Even sharks and whales don't hunt humans. More people die from texting and driving in the United States in one week than from shark attacks in a year. Even if these predators of the sea don't like killing us, we humans sure love to do so. If you've ever heard of whaling in the Faroe Islands, you know what we're talking about. For those who don't, there's a centuries-old tradition in Denmark that leads to the mindless slaughter of pilot and killer whales annually. When they venture close to the bay, boats surround the whales and herd them back towards the land to be killed. When the animals approach the boat, a hook is inserted into their blowhole, making it easier for them to be hauled up further to the shore. Then, a spinal lance is used to stab the neck and sever the spinal cord, completely cutting the brain's blood supply. Once the whale loses consciousness, it dies within a few seconds. The entire community watches on as pods of whales are butchered in plain sight. 800 to as much as 1,500 of these animals are killed every year to provide meat and blubber to the people of the Faroe Islands in Denmark. This is part of their natural diet. They believe every whale slaughtered provides communities with several hundred kilos of meat that otherwise would have been imported. The natives of the Faroe Islands in Denmark have been practicing this tradition for centuries dating back to 1584. Pilot whales and other big dolphins, including the orcas, have been the staple diet for inhabitants of the land since the age of the Vikings. The government is involved in these activities, and each whale catch is recorded and regulated by the authorities. Officials defend the practice as essential to Faroese culture and argue that the number of whales taken is not harmful to the general pilot whale population. They also point to recent Faroese laws to make the whale hunts more humane and reduce the unnecessary suffering of the animals. All that might be true, but the mindless killing of harmless creatures like that just doesn't sit well with us. And if you think this is a crazy practice, you might be interested in knowing that humans kill more than 70 million sharks each year for their fins, teeth, or just for sport. Given these statistics, it's definitely time to set the record straight about sharks, orcas, and other predators of the sea. That's it for today, guys. We hope you enjoyed the video. Have you ever seen orcas in real life? And do you believe such whale-killing practices should stop? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.